So how's it going? I got a lock and load motorcycle transport system. It comes in this box. I'm not going to do an unboxing video. Those are so, you know, those are old school at this point for online. Who cares about unboxing? Let's just take a look at it. What you get is you get the strap. You get these bolts. Those bolts. You get some directions. This is like the part parts list, which should be in there. You get some directions as far as how to put it together up there and it's pretty straightforward these lag bolts will go through the top through the bottom of the bed or wood whatever you do uh, you might need longer ones if you have a lot of wood but that should be for most trucks and what have you probably a good length not quite sure what these two bolts are as of yet. Yeah, don't know what those two are. But I also have a bike in it. It's balancing here, no straps. That table's there because this was sliding as I try to put it. You got three mounting points. One, two, three. So if you got a smaller or said skinnier wheel, put in that medium or wider use that one so i wasn't quite sure where to put it so i did the medium <laughs> and that seems to be that seems to be good it's not touching it's not touching the uh, rotor there it went in it locked bike like i said is standing here just on that plate so that's kind of cool so this strap I'll show you a real video in the truck, but this is just a little short video. This strap will go from here, loops up and over. Um, some things on this initial impression is the powder coating is eh. There was overspray paint on this. I don't even know if you can see that, but overspray paint looks like orange or probably when they sprayed that on. Uh, the inside of this, wasn't as nice as the outside, but again, eh. Uh, one thing I did like is the locking part, the, that twist, and I'll show it in the next video. That twist, those aren't plastic, those are metal. No one mentions that. Um, what else? Oh, the reason why I picked this over other systems is because you can quickly remove that uh, orange piece and then it's just the plate that's in the truck which is pretty low profile the, these wings stick up but it's pretty low profile and yeah that's all that sticks up here let me take the bike off and I'll show you okay I removed the bike I actually even tried the RAR in it the RAR fits in this position just fine um, and it's a light bike so it won't take much to keep that up so what I one thing I found out is for some reason these lock uh, washers were on these bolts. I assume they went. Looking at the parts list, it doesn't even show these ones with the quick release. And I like the knobs. So these other bolts they had with it, those it's just if you want to bolt it down and not do a quick release, you know, you're just gonna leave things. Um, personally, I don't know why you wouldn't use a quick release, even if you just left it. But to each their own, you know, maybe stop theft. I mean, that way somebody can't just take this piece, possibly. <laughs> you would have to wrench it off. But anyways, those washers, don't put them on. Man, it was hard to get these turn things. Now these seat better. Yeah, I, I don't know what the locking washers, why they had that. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. <laughs> Um, they actually really did lock because I, I could not, I could not uh, get those off. But yeah, I did the middle spot. This is what it looks like. This flips up like so. Has that much room. I'm guessing you just have that much more if it's on the top. But anyways, the 19 inch front of the RAR or the e-bikes in general seem to fit in here. So that is good to go. I just have to go out to the truck and figure out where where do I mount this? Where do I mount this bad boy? And how do I want to mount it? Do I want to mount it 
to the bed of the truck. Do I want to use my 2x12 that I I'm pretty sure I have from when I built the deck years ago? Still in the garage, so I could use that, mount this to that. And then what, what's keeping the 2x12 down on the ground would be the straps from the bike that are still anchoring everything down. So it's still not going to shift around. It's a it's a um, it's a pressure treated outdoor two by twelve. So it's heavy as it is. Plus the length of the I would do the length, the exact length of the bed. That way it can't pull forward, which is my whole idea. The tonneau cover here, you know, so the wheel can't go too far forward and and uh, push against the tonneau cover <sighs> decisions decisions so we'll see how I go about it I don't like the idea of putting holes in the bed of the truck you know that's just something I don't like so I don't know we'll see where I go hopefully so far you like this video and this gives you an idea of a product which we can get at a and Moto Toys in hook you up with a discount, you know, especially if you, if you buy two, because that meets the minimum ordering for us. And yeah, I think most people would probably buy two of these, you know. I bought one to try. I'm gonna buy probably two more, if I can just get a base plate, because I like two spots plus one on an angle, because if it's just my, tr my bike, I'll just put it on the angle so I can shut the tailgate still. But if I'm hauling two bikes, then okay tailgate has to be down still okay that's fine i can live with that but you know then this is uh stopping the bikes from pushing the tonneau cover forward and messing that up and plus the weight longevity against the tonneau cover don't like that idea so anyways that's what we have and plus this will stop any potential of falling over if a strap gets loose it might get a little shaky back there if a strap got loose but it's not going to fall over <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah i don't know we'll we'll see how i tackle this i mean i also kind of have a another idea too so which is still using wood but then i don't have to worry about the uh, back side of this being too long through a 2x12, uh, then I have to trim it or I have to recess it, you know, all that fun jazz. Um, I could probably do a strap around these and down on the board. But then again, it's still, and then I could just put short, uh, a washer with some, a short deck screw or something just so this doesn't slide forward. I don't know, thinking of different ideas out loud. We'll see what I do in the end. I probably end up just bolting it to the bed of the truck, <laughs> but we'll see. So hopefully this helped you out. Have a good one.